Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video from Moscow, Russia. I'm sorry that I haven't made videos in a while. I've been a bit busy. But I wanted to share my thoughts on all of the foreigners coming to Russia recently. There has been, I don't know how many people um, coming to Russia and I'll tell you what I think about it. So this is what outskirts of Moscow looks like because I just didn't want to film my face. I wanted to show you guys what everything looks like, but the thing about foreigners, and there's been like a bunch of Americans, British people coming over, is that they don't live like the typical Russians, the Russians do. See, what these people have is they have all of the benefits of, I, I don't even want to say the Western world, I don't even know if you can call it that. It's all of the benefits of a non-sanctioned, you know, country with a higher salary uh, combined with all of the benefits of Russia, which is, you know, the typical thing you get when you're like a digital nomad or whatever. And see, the Russian women are pretty cute too. Here's one coming over. But I don't like... I don't like that she's smoking. That's a huge uh, turn off. And also, uh, Moscow is a very windy place, by the way. But anyway, so I've been watching all these people and the thing that they don't realize, and that is one thing I realized, I watched this interview of like a South Korean girl or whatever, where she mentioned the hierarchy of the South Korean people or the country which is very, very similar to what's going on in Russia. So they have an affinity for Westerners, like Western Europeans, they love them. And they think less highly of people from like Philippines or Vietnam or a, another country that is like more poor than uh, South Korea. In Russia, we have a very similar thing. So. And by the way, I wanted to show you there's a there's a tank. So which very typical thing for Russia. There's a military tank right here. Um, which is like a World War II type of a memorial. Okay, so you know as a uh, you know Russian citizen and this is what I realized after like four years of uh, living here is uh, basically Russian people have gone through a lot you know so when you have a foreigner when you have a foreigner who hasn't experienced communism who still you know has some kind of generational wealth coming over to Russia it's different than a person living here so I think the, the foreigners that I've seen, they have a bit of a rose-colored glasses approach when it comes to Russia. Like, I, I'm not necessarily saying that... Um, the, the, the thing that they don't completely understand is how, for example... I apologize for all of the noise. There's like airplanes flying and all kinds of crap going on. Uh, the thing that they realize is that if you're living as a digital nomad in any country and you're not, you, you realize the people around you are making way less than you. You know, if you were to go and work for a typical job in Moscow, Russia, you'd make, you know, if you're lucky, thousand, fifteen hundred dollars and honestly, you know, even that would be difficult to get. So, um, it's interesting for me to watch foreigners because it's just, that, that's why they immediately get a lot of subscribers. You know, I've noticed that any kind of video you get like a completely unknown YouTube channel of someone from the United States. They come to Russia, it blows up because everyone wants to see what happens, you know? Because Russia is an interesting place, um, no doubt about it. Uh, I myself moved back here. I was, you know, um, 
I was actually born here and sometimes I forget that. I don't know. I don't know if I was lucky or uh, not lucky to be born, to be born here. I guess maybe um, the problem the problem that I have with um, this country um, and another interesting thing is that foreigners are very afraid to criticize anything <laughs> you know I, I, I think if I was not you know the, the thing is everybody is afraid to criticize anything you, you notice that <sighs> some woman is like talking behind me um, you know, for example, one of the reasons why you hear so many like bad things about the United States is because I think people are uh, a bit freer to talk about it. Like, I, I'm sure you know the thing with Russia and freedom of speech, which is, you know, it's been a lot of issues with that. So while Russia is has a lot of things going for it you cannot oversee you cannot skip over the issues and the problems but as foreigners you know everybody is like oh my god uh, is that guy from america or england you, you still have that soviet mentality where a foreigner was a very rare thing although it's changing you know but but um i understand why they're moving you know because I've lived in Los Angeles and I've seen what happens there. But I still have to say that uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, money, I still think Western salaries are much higher than they are in Russia. And generally, uh, you know, working remote works out really good, you know? It's like a Russian, you know, you know the Russian joke, uh, you know, uh, someone asked the guy, can you live on a Russian salary? And the guy replies, I don't know, I never tried, you know. It's an old Soviet joke, which means that everyone has some kind of hustle going on, everyone has some kind of, you know, a thing that Soviet salaries or Russian salaries are so low that you cannot live on them. And it's still the case, they're still low, it's still difficult, I think, to... That's why you have a lot of people, you know, I don't know if these foreigners realize, but there's a bunch of people from all of the Soviet republics going over to the West. But the reasons are different, right? Whereas foreigners come to Russia for, like, you know, to get these non-monetary uh, gains, right? Where it's nicer here, it's cleaner, it's cheaper, um, it's more like soulful, you know, whatever. Um, Russians and people from the former Soviet republics go to the West strictly to make money. And you, you have to realize that there's tons and tons of these people and there is a reason why there's so many people leaving. It's because they make more money over there. So as a foreigner, you cannot underestimate the fact that you probably have more money than the average person or you make more money or you have savings or whatever and that is the issue although it's changing and i think russia is becoming richer whatever if you like this type of content like and subscribe i see you guys in the next video